I went to church a lot as a kid, and I kind of stopped going and swayed away from church, and this kid got me back into it. And I like Jesus, so I'm going to get dunked for him. <laughs> When, when did you come the moment you said, yeah, I want the real God and I need Christ to be my forgiver? I think it was just a few weeks after we attended the first time here, um, I actually prayed to Jesus, which I had not ever done before. And um, it was very impactful because a lot of things came to pass as a result of that. And um, it was easy there after that. Um, I accepted God into my heart when I was five, and I'm making this decision because I feel that I have really accepted God, so, yeah. sleep last night. I felt like I was getting married, like the night before I got married. It was like I was so nervous. And I thought, you know, it really is a big deal. And um, I felt I was doing all the right things. But I realized, you know, Jesus began his ministry on this earth by being baptized first. And the fact that he could do that when he was of no sin and he took our sins. So I'm identifying with him and all Christians, past, present, and future. My life is to serve the Lord, the Lord Jesus today. And, and the devil, he can sit on a tag if he don't like it, because I'm going to serve the Lord today. I was uh, sort of playfully baptized at one time, and uh, it didn't uh, seem to mean much to me. Uh, baptism is, is, is a way of uh, kind of releasing yourself from, the wor from, well, from this world, really, uh, into, into the uh, um, glory. And what does it mean to have a relationship with God for you? Uh, for me? Well... For me, uh, it's a relationship is more than a relationship. He's a friend. Uh, we don't all know when we're going to die, but uh, you have the privilege of knowing, hey, you just have a few more weeks, days. Uh -huh. Okay, let's dip. <laughs>